My name is Mrs. Rifkat Ola Sheni Salako Isere. Uh, I am the National Financial Secretary, Muslim Association of Nigeria. Uh, Ramadan is um, usually a very welcoming period for Muslims. It's a time of joy, a time of celebration. Why is that? It's the time that the Quran was revealed. It's a, it's a merciful time. It's the time that sins are forgiven. So a lot of Muslims look forward to this period to pray for the future, to get better as Muslims. So it's a celebrated time in the life of a Muslim. Any Ramadan is highly celebrated. Muslims come together to eat. Even the meals in the house that are um, mostly outside, they come home to eat. And um, it's a good um, family reunion. So, and it's a time that the way we're supposed to live our life throughout the year is exemplified during the month of Ramadan. You know, because as uh, Muslims, we pray, you know, you forgive um, others for their sins. You know, you also ask for forgiveness. You live well with your neighbors. A lot of charity is done which is also um, the way we're supposed to be living. We're supposed to be uh, people giving charity to neighbors, Muslims, friends, families, and um, it actually starts from the home, like we have even learned today, that um, for the man of the house, your charity begins from home. That you get a lot of uh, blessings from God, which is called sadaqah, when you spend heavily on your wife and your children, when you devote your time, your energy first to the nucleus family before you do, you do it outside. So when good homes are built, you know, the, we have a better society. And that is also what um, Ramadan is preaching. It brings everybody back to the home. And um, the home detects what the society becomes. So if we emulate what we're supposed to do in um, Ramadan for the rest part of the year, we become better people, better citizens, and we have a better nation. And um, I think um, in a summary, we have um, said it all. And um, if we imbibe this, we will have a better Nigeria and a better society. Thank you very much. We want to introduce some of our mothers here present. Some of them had been here earlier than the time we scheduled for the commencement of this program. We want to call on the mother of the days. We want to begin by inviting our home mother, the Olori Alasalatu, Alaja Amdalat, Abdul Razak. Mama is not present, she's on her way. Um, representative from our way. representative is here, can. Oh, about professor. Oh, I have the lie. I have the lie. Uh, Mama is ably represented by uh -huh. our own professor. Mother professor. Mother Biki. Mother Biki. You're welcome, sir. Ah, la wasa, so, um, la wasa, la I wasa. want to call on our home mother, the chairperson of Women as Latu, to please step forward. Alaaja, M. O. Emmanuel, chairperson, Women as Latu Muslim Association of Nigeria. Can you please step forward, Mama? Biki, Maraba, ah, la wasa, la Maraba, Biki. Minding our time, I would like to invite. Biki, the deputy chairperson women as Lato, who will call on our home mother, Dr. M. E. Mosoya, deputy women as Lato Union Muslim Association of Nigeria. Maraba. Can you please step forward, ma? Maraba, Biki, Maraba. Also, we like to call Biki, our own our mother, um, Alahaja. R O Kabiawu, can you please come forward, Mama? Maraba Biki, Maraba. Allah shall you call Afia Maraba Biki, Maraba. Allah was Allah, Maria Ba Biki, Maria Ba Ekiwa, Maria Ba Biki, Maria Ba. Would like to invite one of our mothers, one of the mother of the day. In person of Alahaja Adia Zubar. Can you please come to the Maraba high Biki, table, ma? Maraba. You are welcome, Maraba ma. Biki, Biki, Maraba. Maraba. Ala wasala, Maraba Biki, Maraba Ekiwa, Maraba Biki, Maraba. 
We like to invite our home mother, former vice chairperson, woman Asalatu, Alaja M A Akinade. Please, if you are here, please come forward, ma. Alaja, Sawa Kalitu, Aikola. Can you please come to the high table, ma? Sawa Zulia Gaula, Afijoko Anabi Awasio, Mama Rere Nino Isilamu. We also like to invite to the high table Alahaja Falila Sanusi. No Alahaja Falila Sanusi. Gaula. She's on her way. Emu wa suri agaola. Evi joko anabi ya wasio. Mama rere ni no isilamu. Next, uh, next to be invited. Next to be invited. We are going to call on our home mother, Mama Eti, Alahaja, H.B. Olanude, former child person, women as Latu Union. Please come to the podium, ma. We'd like to invite our mother here present, Alaaja Rokoya Shitu. Can you please come to the platform, ma? You're welcome. Also, we want to invite our mother, Alaja K. Adeniji, former chairperson, woman as Latu. Former vice chairperson. All right. All right. All right. All right. I would like to invite our mother, Alahaja. I would like to invite our mother, Alahaja, S A Tizen. Asalatu, wasalamu, aleika ya Rasulallah. Asalatu, wasalamu. Aleika ya Rasulal, asalatu wa salamu. Aleika ya Rasulal, asalatu wa salamu. Aleika ya Rasulal. Next is for us to invite uh, our mother, the chairperson, the first lady of the branch, Alaaja, Amarulewa Onigbanjo. Asalatu wa salamu aleika ya Rasulallah Asalatu wa salamu aleika ya Rasulallah Ahmada ya Rasulallah Ahmada ya Muhammadu ya Rasulallah Toha ya Rasulallah Yasi ya Rasulallah Imi ya Rasulallah Asalatu wa salamu aleika ya Rasulallah. Asalatu wa salamu aleika ya Rasulallah. Also to be invited to the high table is our own mother, Alaja Fashola. Please come to the high table, ma. Asalatu wa salamu aleika ya Rasulallah. Here present is our National Financial Secretary, Honorable Esteri. Rifkot, number. Honorable Rifkot, a Siri. Please come to the high table, ma. Salatu wa salamu aleika ya Rasulallah. Asalatu wa salamu aleika ya Rasulallah. I call on your lordship, Honorable Justice, Mrs. Latifat Falami, Justice High Court of Lagos State. Can you please come forward, ma? Salatu wa salamu aleika ya Rasulallah. 
Asalatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulallah Ahmada ya Rasulallah Muritado ya Rasulallah Mujitaba ya Rasulallah Toa ya Rasulallah Yasin ya Rasulallah Imi ya Rasulallah Muhammadu ya Rasulallah Asalatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulallah Asalatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulallah Kabirullah Ala Hajj Ustaz Sulaiman Latif PhD A lecturer for, the, for today is a lecturer of Anzaldin College of Education as well as a lecturer at um, Ekiti State University, as well as director, executive director, African Center for Islamic Education. I hereby introduce our ustaz, Alaha Sulaiman Lati, PhD. You are welcome, sir. Now, before we Beko lele sani, bal beko le jawari hi, ako lula kum ala wasala wa mare aba. Without much ado, we would like to go to the next item, which is the chairman. No, 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 before I go there, um, as process of introducing our father, I must tell us that... Um, our lecturer for today has donated some books which will be going around and the title is Discover Islam, Your Birth Right. Discover Islam, Your Birth Right. Written Allah by Allah. our lecturer for today, Allah Sulaiman Latif, PhD. Now we'll be listening to the chairman. Shall you tell All right, um, the book that will be going into circulation, as earlier said, I want to retrieve my statement. The book is not written by a lecturer, but donated by him. It's a publication that I believe you always get from um, donors, so it's also sharing with us. Now we are going to listen to... Okay, my um, father, can you please come to the high table, sir? You are welcome, sir. No, that is seat for you, sir. <laughs> you are welcome, <laughs> sir. Doctor Sulaiman Latif. I want to welcome every one of us here seated. I've seen our own brother, a member of this committee, brother. Abdul Hafiz Balogun. You are welcome. You are welcome, sir. Also, in our midst, we have Brother Lashukwa. All members, you are all welcome. Um, there are many names. If I begin to mention, I might not be able to conclude through half today. So please pardon me. I have only, only be able to mention very few. We recognize all our members, our MOX members here present. All all congregants. <laughs> all congregants of uh, Mount Mox, we, are, we welcome you to this occasion. <laughs> all right, without taking much of our time, we are going to listen to the chairman's opening remark. I hereby call on my chairman, Alahad Muhammad Osani, Rabatunde Onigbanjo. You are welcome, sir. The president, members, trustees, the former chairman, particularly Alaji T. A. Tyson, and other members of the state executive 
and members of the branch here present, the chairperson of today's occasion, uh, who has been rightly introduced by the MC, our royal father of today, he be represented as by Dr. M. A. Shitu, the Oloja of uh, Oja, I mean uh, of Epe, uh, His Royal Majesty Oba Kamal Din Anima the spiritual father of the day, Sheikh Abdul Hafiz Abu the Baba Adini of Lagos, the mother of today, Alaja Amdalat Abdurazak, rightly and ably represented by Professor Abdurazak. Our lecturer, the everyday lecturer of today, Ustaz Sulaiman Latif, PhD, other distinguished invited guests, brothers and sisters in Islam, I greet you all with the universally accepted and blessed Islamic greetings by saying, Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Wa Alaikum wa Salaam wa Rahmatullahi Ta'ala wa Barakatuh. The topic, today's topic cannot be Sorry, all praises and adoration are due to the Almighty Allah, the unique, the first, and the eternal. May the blessings of Allah continue to abide in the noblesse of mankind. The Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his household, his companions, and the entire Muslim Ummah, especially those who follow the right path to the day of resurrection. Amen. I heartily welcome you all to the 1444 AH year 2023 Anwar Ramadan public lecture. We must be grateful to Almighty Allah, Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, for giving us this unique opportunity to witness yet another Ramadan season. The month of Ramadan, as we all know, is the ninth lunar month of the Islamic calendar. The glorious month is quite explicit in his messages, and his messages are quite clear and unambiguous. And this is reflected in Quran chapter 2, verse 185 of the Holy Quran that says, Ramadan is a month in which the Holy Quran was revealed as a mercy to mankind, as a clear sign, guidance, and judgment between what is right and what is wrong. The judgment is what makes mankind the real creature that we are. The ability to differentiate between right and what is wrong. The verse also compels believers to fast during the holy month and do good deeds. May Almighty Allah accept our fasting and supplication during this glorious month as an act of the holy month of Ramadan provides us another opportunity to be good believers, to be patient humble to engage in Allah's remembrance as a creator. For all this, Allah has prepared for us forgiveness and great reward, both in this world and in the year after. May He accept our supplication. The main theme of today's lecture, which is, which is parenting and subtopic of moral upbringing, Islamic obligation of the stakeholders, which I believe will be well articulated by our erudite scholar, Ustaz Sulaiman Latif, PhD, lecturer at Southern College of Education, Isolo, as well as Ekiti State University, Lagos. He's also an executive director at the African Center for Islamic Education. The topic cannot be brought to the front banner at a better time than now, that we have just finished a major election cycle and the manipulative manner in which our younger generations we are confronted with, no thanks to the negative social media and bad peer group influence, all of which are fallout of bad parenting and wrong moral upbringing, which are part of the multifaceted problem Nigeria is facing right now. There is therefore the need for a lot of caution 
from parents and the youth to ensure a better future for our country and the Muslim Ummah as a whole. May I therefore seize the, this opportunity of the holy month of Ramadan to call on parents, particularly Islamic scholar, and guidance on the need for us to retrace our missteps, to reinvent the old family structure of ensuring proper upbringing of our children. May Almighty Allah make our children the pride and comfort of our eyes. Amen. More importantly, to the Muslim Ummah, Islam being a universal religion is non-sectorial, non-racial, non-doctrine. It is total submission to the will of Almighty Allah. It, this connotes absolute faith in Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the act of doing what is right and being a perfect example to others. We must eschew bad practices and enjoy others to follow the right path. Therefore, this is not just for Muslim. The Quran is not just for Muslim, but the teachings and injunction is for the entire mankind. For Allah says, Muslims are the best of Muslims are the best set of people evolved for mankind, enjoying what is good and forbidding what is bad. Therefore, Muslims should continue to play the pivotal role of being role model in our in to the entire mankind and conduct ourselves wherever we may find ourselves in the best possible conduct so that we can be a reflection of the society. Before I round up my welcome address, it is important for me to let you know that the Muslim Association of Nigeria Lagos Band, we sustain ourselves through the goodwill of our members, the immediate community, that's the environment that we operate from, and kind of third movement of the Muslim Ummah. So we'll continue to rely on your support and kind benevolence in the months and years to come, inshallah, for the implementation of our laudable project. Uh, what I should mention one or two. Uh, we have some landed properties that were donated to us by some of our members. Some of them are late, some of them are still alive. There is the Erwin landed property, which is partly developed, but we have a special project that we intend to carry out on that land. Uh, we propose to have our secondary school, a permanent site of our secondary school for on the land, and the imam resident, as well as a mox. Uh, the total cost is, well, is estimated as a whopping 150 million. It is a doable uh, project. This is small in the eyes of Almighty Allah. May Almighty Allah make it easy for, for us. Amen. Then of course, we have another one at uh, Erwin. I'm sorry, at Goa. Also, we have plans to develop the Agboa land as well in the propagation of, of Islamic Dawah. Uh, there's an ongoing one presently that we are embarking upon, and that's equally, it was donated to us by one of our mothers. Uh, the land is uh, was recently recovered, and we are doing extensive work on it. So we still need a lot of support uh, in this regard. Finally, it is important for me to reiterate that we are equally in dire need of a two end condition 18 seater bus to cope with our intra and interstate movement on education and religious activities. Brothers and sisters in Islam, distinguished invited guests, president, trustees, and entire members of the Muslim Association of Nigeria. Again, I welcome you to this important annual Ramadan lecture. May Almighty Allah accept it as an act of ibadah from every one of us, and may he grant us the grace to witness many Ramadan on the surface of the earth. Amen. Allah Muhammad salam wa mikan salam wa alika yaridu salam tabarak tarabana wa ta'idita Ramadan Karim. Allahu Akra. Kabirullah. I want to thank my chairman. I believe the message is well taken. More importantly, those projects that were mentioned by my chairman, we need your financial support towards this project. I would not like to repeat them.
so that I will not be taking our time unnecessarily. But then, um, we will need your financial support. I would like to call on our lecturer for today. I will call on Alahaj Dr. Suleiman Latif, PhD lecturer, Anzaldin College of Education. Also, lecturer is so, um, Ekiti State University. <laughs> Ma, 